Calvin Ridley. And I should be thanking him. I should be thanking him, Jay, because it's been a long time. Matter of fact, I can't think of any time in the history of this show where we have talked about um, an all-star Pro Bowl caliber player who has gotten in trouble for this. Uh, those of you who haven't heard about this, Calvin Ridley, star wide receiver for the Atlanta Falcons of the NFL, has been suspended for at least the 2022 season after gambling on games in 2021. Uh, this came out today. The NFL released a statement announcing the suspension, saying he gambled on games over a five-day stretch in November of 2021 when he was actually on the non-football injury list to address his mental health, which essentially uh, he stayed out for the remainder of the 2021 season. Um, so he stepped away from Halloween, saying he needed personal time to get his life in order. Uh, he has given a response to this. We'll get to that later. But I'm curious, Jay, as unique as this story is, what your initial thoughts were, given that we don't get very many stories like this of a star athlete being suspended for this reason. So what were your thoughts? I mean, I mean, the last time I think you really heard about something like this was what Pete Rose. I yeah, think he's yeah, probably the biggest yeah, exactly. name person that you know that was actually point for well, betting on games that he was actually playing in, which is a big difference or managing big difference in comparison to what Ridley's doing is he was not playing. He's been out because of the mental health situation. And so the question I have with that is, is he the only player betting on games? <laughs> because if, my thought process here is, is seriously, most players have a proxy when it comes to this stuff. They don't go up and do their own bets. They don't lay their own bets. They don't put their own money down to this stuff a lot of the times, unless it's off season. And by having said proxy go drop money on games, that prevents them from having their hands in the cookie jar. I don't understand why Ridley did not have a proxy do this for him, knowing damn well, even though he was out of the state, he did it on an app on, on what was that, FanDuel or something, mm -hmm. that he didn't have somebody else placing the bets for him to prevent himself from basically betting $1,500 on parlays to lose $11 million. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, who does that? To me... That's something you should have thought out in this circumstance. You know that it's not technically allowed for you to be betting on your own games. Why would you put a parlay in with the Falcons? Of all things, you bet on the Falcons to win? <laughs> That's wrong. Oh. That's mean. Don't, don't be mean to the Falcons like that. Am I wrong, though? Am I wrong? If you can tell me that I'm wrong... I will rescind my statement. But if you can't <laughs> well, I mean, prove to me that I'm wrong, yeah, the statement stands. Well, I mean, it depends on how he bet on them in a sense. I mean, we don't know the intricacies of what his bets might have been. So there's money to be had there if you know how to bet on the Falcons. And who would know better how to bet on the Falcons than someone who actually is a Falcon? So I would need more so information you think about that. you probably bet on them to lose? I mean, maybe. <laughs> probably. <laughs> to give up too many points? He's probably like, yo, they ain't got me. They ain't got me. So... We, I I mean, know they at that yeah. point, they were awful as soon as they lost him. Yeah. But that's not something – but that doesn't make any sense to right. put yourself in that circumstance, especially especially since all of these leagues are deep in bed mm -hmm. with sports gambling. The one thing you can't lose is integrity to the, integrity to the game mm -hmm. because the chickens are going to come home to roost at a right. certain point. Right. They're going to start coming at you. You're playing with people's money. Two mm -hmm. things you don't play with. People's family, people's mm -hmm. money. Mm -hmm. And right now you're playing a dangerous game, NFL. Adopting and being open with sports betting. And then you have players like this doing stuff. Now, the suspension made sense. As soon as they said he's suspending them for a full year, mm -hmm. I got that. Because you got to put the hammer down on these situations. Because like I said... If you're getting in bed with gambling, get in bed with some people that might uh might cut your leg off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you know, part of when I first saw this story, what I was hoping I was able to say is that, yes, this is a, a bad mistake by a, a really young player. Um, shows a lack of leadership. I understand that. But that maybe his youth, 
in terms of how short-sighted he was had a part to play mm-hmm. in this because part of what he should have understood now that betting is becoming more more legalized across the country and that the NFL is probably bet on than any other sport in the country that the NFL was probably going to have some type of way to make sure their players and coaches and personnel weren't betting on the games for the reasons that you mentioned in terms of the integrity of the game etc so I looked up his age. He's 27 years old. So I throw that out because he's a little bit too old to be making that type of decision. And as bad as it was, I wasn't more, I wasn't as disheartened as I was until I read his statement, because here's what he said in response to this uh, via tweet. I believe he said, I don't have a gambling problem, which, you know, you ever seen like someone who knows they drink too much, most likely they're an alcoholic. But the first thing they say is that I'm I'm not an alcoholic. But you know that they are. They're just trying to convince themselves. So that's kind of a bad way to start this. Um, he said that he couldn't watch football at the time he made the bets. He added that he's just going to be more healthy when I come back and that I know I was wrong, but I'm getting one year. L-O-L. He bet $1,500 total. Mm-hmm. And then he says he doesn't have a gambling problem. And you made a great point. That's usually what people with addictions of some capacity mm-hmm. say is, I don't have this problem. That's not my, I can stop when I want to. Right. But your $1,500, like I mentioned, just cost yeah. you $10 million. Right, but he's not taking it serious. 11.1 11. million just came off the Falcons books. Exactly, exactly. Because you ain't own them no more. He's not even taking it serious. He says, I know I was wrong, but I'm getting one year, LOL. There's nothing LOL about this. He has ruined his reputation. And we, we know he will be back, but but he is not taking this serious. And when you see this type of thing in response to the, this immature response to it, it almost makes me think that his career is in a bit of a free fall because you know he had the mental health issues notwithstanding. We understand that hopefully he's much healthier now in terms of his mental yeah. health. And then he gets the suspension for this. But then on the end of it, you don't even take it serious. And this is an LOL type of circumstance. I think that is a really bad sign because if he's supposed to be one of your best players, that automatically means he is generally looked upon to be one of the leaders in that locker room, especially for the younger players, 2021, 20, 22, who are going to be coming onto the team. So this is a really bad sign for the career trajectory of Calvin Ridley. Yeah, I don't even know what to even say, think, in this entire circumstance of why you would do it. Like I said mm-hmm. earlier, I, my assumption is players got proxies. I mean, I don't think Floyd Mayweather walks in with cash and throws <laughs> it down to bed. He probably does. I don't know. It feels like these guys, though, would have a proxy that will walk in with a bag of cash and go do it. And I understand the convenience of doing it on an application. Mm-hmm. Why don't you have a proxy that has the app loaded and you split the difference with them if you're going to bet? Like, why? Why are we here? (laughs) Why would you put yourself in a circumstance? And even with the proxy, you have to make sure that that the, the institution that you're going to, whatever casino or application, whatever, they know that y'all don't have any type of affiliation. Like those, 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 Degrees of separation are critical when it comes to the integrity of the game. Guys, you're you're playing with fire now. This is not this is not a game for people. You don't play with people's money, and that's what I feel like they're doing right now. Mm-hmm. So.